Hey gang, welcome back to the deluxe series uh, on hard mode. Uh, you're down here riding on board one of these uh, great little dump trucks that we put in last time out to deliver some iron ore. Now, a couple of things we're doing today. We're going to continue work down this way at Inglewood and Surprise, but we're going to set up a bit of a distribution center further south along this island. Uh, a sort of like a half, a half sized one, a little bit further down. Uh, because we're going to set up a bit of a trade route of tools and machine parts between two towns um, uh, which is going to work out really well for us i think in the long run uh, the other good thing is uh, it's going to help us uh, distribute a little bit more coal and iron and a little bit more timber up to this end where we are right now uh, for our uh, machine parts production because as it stands right now the machine parts production is probably at max bickies uh, and that's only delivering just a surprise uh, the timber mill that's uh, supplying the sawmill is literally uh, that bursting point and it can't keep up with demand basically so getting more timber there is going to be beneficial for us. The other thing is uh, this, there's a sawmill down the other end that uh, we can take straight to a tools factory to start distributing tools. However there's only two timber farms and you kind of need two timber farms for um, each sawmill which kind of makes things hard. We've only got three uh, timber farms on this side of the map anyway we'll just play around with things and see how we get on we might have to look at importing timber uh, from elsewhere where i know that there is plenty it's just going to be a bit of an import job that's all all right so lovely little country drive over um yeah less scenic than i thought <laughs> i gotta be honest let's jump off the truck now and uh get into the episode so the, uh, what in question I was talking about is that sawmill and that timber, uh, uh, surprise forestry. It's literally at bursting point. These guys have got 30 stored, but you can see, uh, you really need two timber farms to supply it. Uh, it's especially this one here, right? We've only got 12 in stock there. We are getting plenty of steel though, however, which is really good. But the thing is, once you start sending machine parts to, uh, Ventura, Richmond, we're going to be sending them back to Antioch. Uh, and vice versa, like uh, they'll be sending tools back, right? That's our trade route that we're going to be working on today. But once you start uh, mass producing for other towns, uh, this here is not going to be able to cut the mustard, basically. And we know how easy mustard should be able to be cut. Well, I guess you don't really cut mustard, but you get what I mean. That's the saying. Uh, right, so there's a tools factory just here. Perfect. Two timber farms just here. Lovely. And a sawmill just here, right? So timber to sawmill, sawmill to tools, tools for all. Okay, well, tools down to there. We've got uh, a spare iron, um, an iron, oh, um, what to say, mine here that we can send, um, we can either send it up that way where it's going now, or we can send it up and over the hill where this one is and this one and this one. Uh, and we're going to set up right here a miniature distribution uh, sort of train area that we're going to sort of then scallop down the side of this mountain on a nice slight gradient all the way down into our rail. Bang, thanks for coming. And then it can come back out. Uh, now, that's not the sole purpose for this loop. This loop will also come down this way so it can peel off down into uh, the train hub or the freight hub down here between Palm Bay, Ventura, and Richmond as well, right? So uh, it's going to have multiple connections, but uh, for today, it is going to, um, like I said, have a slight gradient up the hill um, to there, uh, and it can loop around nicely. All right, so let's get cracking on that. Well, we're going to have to do a few things, aren't we? We're really going to have to set up the timber lines uh, to get the tools done. So, well, I think first things first, we could just probably do that. Uh, now, do we want to set up train routes for that? I don't really, because they're just there. So we could literally just go... Uh, timber to sawmill, uh, sawn boards back to timber, then we can have a truck picking up timber to here and delivering it to there. These guys don't need tools yet, they potentially might in the future, uh, but that's uh, them not needing tools is actually a benefit for us, uh, it's not a negative at the moment. Right, so let's uh, plug you in, let's go ahead and just give you, uh, can we squeeze a 30 in there? We, I mean we'll be able to, no drama. Uh, I'll even, you know what, I'll have you go this way. I'll have you know. Right, um, you're at a bit of a different height there too, Brendo. Uh, it's because you're at 
Hmm. Ah, uh, look, it'll work. It'll be fine. Look at that. It was made for it. You know what? I'm just going to do a couple of things here to sort this uh, town out. <laughs> just, I'm going to grid it up. I'm going to grid the town up. A roundabout probably would have been quite handy, to be honest. I'm just going to grid this town up a little bit. Why won't you do that? Uh, yeah, that's a bit better. Uh, right. Uh, and then you guys can have a connection. I just don't like when the AI doesn't finish its connections properly. Right, we are really square gridding this town, aren't we? You know what? Oh, and now the AI starts. To see that? Just go all the way through. Like, why wouldn't you just go all the way through? You're making that awkward for everyone. And same with you. Anyway, whatever. Whatever, Trevor. I'm going to give this a road to there as well. Yeah, I am. Uh, so I want to go to country. I'm going to upgrade these roads too, because we want these roads to go nice and quick. All right, you can come around into there. And then you probably need a road connection to there. That's fine. We'll get a nice big network of road going on here. We'll upgrade all their roads, because we can... Ah, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. The AI can sort that out if it wants to. Right, uh, and then you can also have upgraded roads through this direction to into town there, where you'll need to get up to here. But I won't upgrade that. I'll just shift upgrade these sections. So if you hold in the shift key and hit the upgrade, you can upgrade just sections of the road, okay, like that. Right, get it, got it, good. Perfect. Uh, you've got uh, mis... Oh, I'm just going to come through the guts of Dayton here. I don't really care. You deal with it. They do need tools, so that's fine. Um, the trucks that actually... So what's going to happen is um, our transfer trucks that come from here are going to pick up the sawn boards from either one of these mills, probably this one, straight into town here, drop them off, pick up some tools and drop some tools in there. Then we are going to have some trucks that actually are going to deliver down to our service down there. So it's imperative that we get this in now. Oh, now, brown cow. Uh, now, we do have a couple... We've got a lot of um, um, sawmills on this side of the map and just not enough. <sighs> okay, you just... Oh, there's a bit of a mountain there. That's why. Right, whatever. Uh, yeah, so there's plenty of, like... There's a, there's a uh, sawmill there. We've got the sawmill there. Got a sawmill there, but what we lack is uh, actual um, timber farms. And we've got another sawmill just there. So we've got plenty of sawmills. There's also another tools factory there. I'm thinking, though, it's it's going to be quite redundant having that and that, to be honest, when we've got this one producing already. Uh, and we can distribute with our lines to where we need to for this side of the map anyway and potentially fly some tools out. Now, remembering last time that I did say that products... Uh, no, I don't want that yet. Products will be flown out, not raw materials so much. Right, it's kind of annoying that all your tools are on this side of the map, but we can we can work with this. We're just going to do a single drop-off like that down that street. I am going to give you a connection here, because, yes, that annoys me. Right. Uh, I'm even going to give you a connection down here. Right, because, yes, that annoys me. And you can have that there. Right, deal with it. Uh, okay. Look at the traffic trying to flow into this town already. Nightmarish. Uh, <laughs> okay. Right. Hmm. Am I happy with that truck stop there? Yeah, it'll just have to do. Right, so. Let's wallop in these uh, truck stops just here. We're going to need truck stops, basically. Here's the thing. We're going to need truck stops for you. We do have a plastic factory here too. Uh, you and you. So I'm going to just give them all a pretty easy... I don't have any other on me, do we? No, we don't. I'm going to give you one like this, actually. And I'll come back and fix you up later when I need to. You can just... Actually, you can have one here as well, like that. And you are... You can have one... Rolling this side. Okay. So let's get you configured up now. And um, you configured up now. I'll get all this uh, running. This won't take too long to get this actually configured up and running. So I want some waypoints here because I want to be able to tell my 
uh, stops what they're doing if I need to. Uh, right, and then streets. Give me the sharp angle, because you know I like to run the, the sharp truck angle like that. Lovely. In and outs. We're going in and outs with these truck stops. That's horrendous, that was. Okay, well, it's got a bit of a speed bump. Oh, that's why. Holy moly. Talk about a hill. Uh, okay, righto. So that should be all our truck stops done. Perfect. Right, let's get some lines in. Right. So line one will be you to you. Right. We only need two for this. Now, because you've decided to come in this way, after Norman West, you can come out here. Right? No. Norman West on line two. Better. Okay. So right. It either comes in this way and goes that way, or it comes in this way and goes that way. So the next one we make, that one there, will actually come uh, in this way and head out that way. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Uh, you're going to be this color. You're just going to be called, uh, and then we can uh, rinse and repeat this for the other one. No, don't change. You will be called, uh, what are you called? Norman. Norman... Timber number one transfer by truck. Okay, pretty simple stuff. And then I'm going to copy that. Right. Now, this is also going to transfer uh, boards. So, yeah, because I put transfer here, and the other one I'll make number two, but I'll put it as a delivery so we know. Okay, so I need a new line here. So you're going there, and you're going to come into here. Please tell me, no, you didn't select the other, the different one. You're coming into two there, friendo. And up here at Norman, at Antioch Central, you're going to come down here first. So you can actually come. Yeah, perfect. And you will be... I'm just going to keep it all Norman. You'll be two, but you will just be delivery. Okay? Because uh, you're not going to be bringing anything back. You're a one-way tripper. One-way tripper. Uh, right. So that is those lines done. Now, to counter that, we're going to need another line here. Uh, go to the negatives, thanks. Right, so we're going to go from here. Then you will drop off here. Then you will pick up uh, from here. So you're going to have to... Uh, pick up there and then come out here. Yep, that's it. And, and I'm going to make you... Um, make you that colour. Just so I can see you a bit better. Uh, well, that's not really the colour of tools. The colour of tools would be more like that colour. Yeah, I'm going to leave you like that. Yeah, sweet. Okay, so that is that. That is going to be... Uh, what? It's going to be sawn boards and tools. So we're going to write... Uh, how are we going to write this one? We're going to write Norman. Yep. Good start. Well, it's Dayton, isn't it? Norman to Dayton. Uh, timber. Tools. No, is it timber tools? Yeah, timber tools. We're going to put TRNF by a truck. Okay, big naming convention, I know, but uh, well, I've gone with T-Ruck. Yeah, but okay, we'll leave it for a bit. No, we won't. Fix it now. Otherwise, it'll annoy me. Uh, and I'm sure that I've accidentally left others in there like that. Right, so that's our three timber lines. Let's get that off and running now. We just need to get a bit of a truck stop. Why not put it smack bang in the middle here, and they can all roll off from wherever. From Well, from here, not from wherever, from here. Give it a road. Here is as good a place as any. I bet you put a bit of effort in here and give it a bit of uh, length. Okay, I just really wanted it to meet up with that. That's all. That. Yeah, sweet. 
Right, so, uh, buy vehicles. First lot of vehicles is going to be for number two, right? Number two um, is generally just going to need boards. Text 38, text 38. I mean, logs, all right? So, we're going to send how many? 10, 12, 14. Send those on. Um, what did we say? Norman, didn't we? Norman number two, right? Uh, right, so, and then the next set of trucks, because they have to bring back boards, can they bring back, oh, they can bring back boards. Right, so they can bring back boards, right, so, they can be the same truck. That actually makes that really good. They will be, uh, 14 as well. We'll see, we might have to adjust that number. They can be on Norman 1. So it makes no difference, really, okay? So they're Norman 1. Yeah, it makes no difference because they're going to be bringing those back. Uh, and if it doesn't work, we can tell them they have to bring it back anyway. Now, the other one is uh, this takes 32 at all cargo, which is probably what we want. It'd be nice to use different kinds of trucks, to be honest, but we kind of... These only take 25. Oh, this one it is okay. And then we're going to go with 14 again. We're just going to keep it 14 all around, right? They're going to go on... We've got Norman Date Timber Tools, right? So, what I'm hoping... Is that it... I think to save trouble... We're going to just tell at... Uh, at Norman Waypoint, you know that you're doing that. Norman East, right? Norman East... You're not loading that. You're not loading that. You're not loading that. You need to load that. Right? So that should hopefully tell them to bring back the boards. Yep. Right. Have we actually got... As this actually is starting to kick in now, is it? Let's speed up time a little bit here and just see what happens. Are you, yeah, you, got, you guys are kicked in well and truly. Okay, good to know, and then you've got no supplies yet. Your supplies should be this. Yeah, okay, so they're fine, that's fine, and then I'm hoping that this transfer will actually work. It should work, like it should kick in. We'll come back and check it out later. Let's start getting our station down here set up now we are going to have to flatten a lot of land in here it is quite hilly and to do that I, I i don't mind their road being like that going up the hill i will put it back in for them but i do want this bit of space here and i'm probably going to put a bridge over over the top of our freight hub okay, yeah i get that you're upset at that get over it right so give me we're gonna we're gonna burn and churn a bit of money here doing a bit of leveling Right. Not as much as I thought. I probably want to come down to probably that level. Yeah. Yeah, that's the height we're going to be working at through there. Okay. We don't need mega mega amounts of uh, of room. We just need you. And I will smooth that off actually now. I did go ahead and smooth off the uh, the area near the airport that we put in last time as well. I just gave it a bit of a, a, rub, a rub down. Gave it a light rub down. Okay, so that's going to be the area where we put that. We're going to bridge over the top of that, over the top of this station uh, that we need here. So buildings wise, we want to go cargo. I am going to go through and through because I want to loop this. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to set up, we, oh, look, I just, we probably don't need that many. I'm just going to kick off with two at the moment. You know what? I'll put four in because if I don't, I'll regret it. But we, I just, I just don't think we need four. Let's go with three. And then I've got the option to put in another one later. Why wouldn't you just go four then? Because I just feel like it's supposed to be a, like a half distribution center area. Oh, I'll go with the four. You'll, otherwise you'll regret it, Ham. 
Right, so that's going to sit here. Now, I'm, I'm, I want to set it back here because I want plenty of space for A, um, our trains to head downwards, and B, for a bit of a turnaround. Turn around. Don't sing. Right, all right, there's as good as any spot, to be honest. Oh, my gosh, ham. I do it every time lately. I actually do it every time. I wish that at this, at like, in this day and age, it would just automatically switch to high speed for me. <laughs> but I do it every time. Oh, gilly gosh. Tracks, right. Now, here's the thing. I need to set up a turnaround parameter for our tracks. So, easiest way is going to be going with a parallel track. I'm actually going to cut that out too. Cut it out. That looks to me pretty straight, right? Once again, we're going to cut that out. Right. That is how that is going to go. Perfect. And then these ones here potentially we'll use maybe at some other point. But that's our turnaround point for that. And this will be our point where we start to decline at that rate, right? Now, herein lies the tricky part. This here is actually going to be the feeding line to get back onto here, over there, right? Uh, I probably actually now want to do something like this. How are you going in terms of derailment? You're okay. You're actually okay. And you split off at two and you come into the one you're supposed to. That's perfect. So then you will actually come like this. Voila. And then we actually don't need that down there, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to allow it because what we might actually do until we get, until we have the ability to get trains from over there hooked up into here, I'm going to set a depot up that's going to sit just here until we actually have the ability to pull to, uh, from the other main depot area. This is how it's going to be. Okay. Take that back there. All right. That'll do that. Uh, and, and I'll show you why, because I need, I need to have the ability to do this as well. So keep going with this for a bit, please. Down that way. Right, so what we need to have is the ability to do this in a safe manner, like that. Perfect. And then we can uh, we can bish bash bosh this into one track. Well, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I think we've got what depot have we got? Oh, we've only got a single doozy. Okay, I'm forgetting uh, my I've got my other playthrough. I've got uh... right buildings. That's just going to sit there. Lovely, done. That is our depot. It looks pretty lackluster at the moment, but uh, that's how it's going to be. Think of what you're doing, kiddo. Right, so that's that. We can start uh, sending this down the hill and far away. Right, now, I knew we were going to run into a bit of that. I'm going to keep it straight for the moment. We're just going to keep it nice and straight. Now, that is a horrendous looking bridge. Slightly better. That's a bit over the top. Let's go with the industrial style of bridge there. Okay, I am going to start wending that way a touch. Keeping it coming down. Look, in all honesty, we don't have to come down that far. And this here, buddy, on the corner here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to slide underneath you there. However, you know what? No, we're not going to be able to slide under you there. So you're going to have to depart. Sorry about that. Right, so a couple of things to note. That's actually higher than I thought. Going through there.
we're going to hook that there up to that. But I also want to have the ability to send this line out that way. That's really high. It's only got to marry up with that, I think. And we'll use, we could use the passenger or we could use our own. That's ridiculously high. Uh, what if you went with that? We can play with that later of how this is going to look. But essentially, that's kind of what it's got to be. It seems crazy amounts of height. We might do a bit of land manip anyway to sort that out. Okay, it is what it is. It is what it's going to be. So this here now is going to have to... Are we inside or outside? We are running the outside one. So you're going to burst through the banks there. I just want to get a, an indication here of what this looks like if I do this. Uh, like you're monorailed. Basically, you are monorailed. <laughs> over the top of that farm where we have to delete it. That's if we want that slight gradient like I want. I think we can do a little bit better. That's keeping it at a good, at a good click of 188 though as well. Let's just continue on the way I want to continue on. Flight down like that the whole way. In fact, I don't. I think we might be coming down too early. We literally need to stick on the halfway between that line there. Okay, well, we can do this better. Yeah, okay. Give me to there. We're literally just coming to that line right there, and then we can level out. So we can actually level out from here. Right, that's our level out point. Should be anyway. Have we got a slight uphill there? Is that coming slightly up? Have I come down too steep too far? I think I have, you know. Right, well, what I might do is I'm going to pull this around here. Yeah, okay, that's our height we're running at. But that's fine. That's better than what we had it originally. So we'll go that bridge. I'll switch up the bridges down here, actually. I will get you... You know, you can use that uh, You can use that tool all you want, but it, sometimes it just doesn't work, does it? Uh, we're going to go flat from about here, then. We're going to keep along this ridge, because I, I just didn't want too many massive-looking crazy bridges. Bridges like that are elegant. <laughs> Monorails are not kind of what we want. This here, I want to see what you make of that. That's, uh, we've got a, a slight bit of undulation here and there is not going to matter too much. I'm not going to worry about it too much. That's acceptable because we've got ground, bridges, ground. Do we have a massive hill here? We don't need that. I've got a massive roller coaster there, gang. I think we might be coming down too steep just there. But it is, you know, it's imperative you get this right. Like, for me it is because I just don't like tracks that look like roller coasters. Otherwise, I'd go and play some more Planet Coaster if I wanted that. You're still, you're still really raising the roof there. If I go a bit of N. Why are you? Are you too low up here? We've actually dipped too low where we don't need to. For the sake of this, I'm going to just take it and I can sort of play with it another time. Right, let's get this in. So we can start getting some trains moving with some product. Otherwise, it'll be another one of those episodes where like, Ham, why didn't you just live stream? You've been playing for three years now. And I'll be like, shut up. Right, uh, I think it'll be okay. We'll be able to do the test run anyway. 
And the test run will show where we've got more lumps and bumps and hills and rises and uh, dips that I can iron out anyway by myself um, later on. But for the most part, I think it'll be okay. Uh, then it's going to come and scoot in here where we now have to get this line and uh, hook it back up here. Now we do have this lovely junction here where we're not going to be able to marry up. So you're going to have to actually... Where is the closest point? You're right there. Can I pull you out like that way? Nice little swoop into there. I actually like that little swoop. It's actually quite elegant. Actually really digging that. Cool bananas motoramas. So we've got ourselves a nice loop now. To be able to tell ourselves to run that loop the way we want it, I am going to put in waypoints here. Um, and we're going to do some signal work as well, right? Uh, you'll have to wait there. So, hmm. If you come down this way, you can just stick on the line that you're sticking on to go back the other way, can't you? And then up this way. Right. Then we'll go there. And come into the station. Come out of the station. Actually, I'm going to move that. That's not right. Right. Okay, so. Ooh wee. Let's get some streets, street action going on here. Right. We're going to have to get a lot of road connection back up. Also, go the big road. I want the big one. I want the big one. Right, um, now here is, here in Lias, where we put our little bridge back in, don't we? We're going to go with that. Uh, I'm going to go from this height. It's going to be a big bridge. You are going to be made out of, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, your finest. Straight over the top of this place. You can actually just come to there for me before darting downwards into that area there. Da, 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 da. Now, I'm going to make you land, and I'm going to fill that up. Lots of unnecessary money spent on road network that doesn't even annoy me. Well, I'm going to need it anyway, uh, and you'll see why shortly. So... I want to fix this land here, reconstitute this land a little bit. Right, I'm going to take all of that at that height, blend it up into there. Same with this side, you'll see why here shortly. Take, claim it all back in here. It'll help help the town build on a flatter area up here too, which is kind of good. Uh, I mean, there'll be a couple of hilly sections that it has to build in like over here, but for the most part, It'll give it a nice big flat area to build up here. Uh, and then uh, just give me a bit of smooth off there. A bit of smooth off. I am going to leave that kind of... Well, I was going to leave it kind of ridgy there. I can just do that. Okay, cool bananas. Get all that uh, smoothed off down in there. That's our area there. Now, uh, we've got a connection here that we need to sort out. So you know how we're going to do that. We're going to add this. We're going to add that. We're going to make it that big. We're going to wallop it there. Simple as, we're not going to go too nuts on it today. Pull that up into there. It's a bit of a hike. I could fix this road, but as a bit more of a rise up and rise down. Right. And I want you to be land for me. Landfill, please. Yeah, perfect. 
Uh, give me that, give me that. Right. Now, you could argue that I could pro- well, actually I might even. So, to get down into there, which is going to be better for us, uh, that's the bridge into town. And this is going to be a little, um, bypass road. Into here. I'll even leave you with a bridge, hey? I will. I shall. I, I will do that. Right. That's lovely. Elegant. And we've got plenty of room to play around with this uh, area down in here as well. We've got to put uh, some truck stops down in here as well. Now, truck stops wise, you haven't really left yourself a lot of area, have you, Ham? That's okay. Because I will actually go on this side here. And I'll just fix up the mountain as we go. Uh, let's get, um, cargo. Let's get a little bit of length on this. And I'm going to take another stop in here. And a building. And another street access there. And another building. Okay, and I'll fix all this up shortly. Uh... Right, that can just go like that, dead end sort of a thing, sweep around and fix up this um, land, ham. Right, just uh, do that. That's kind of our basis for what we're going with at the moment. Right, all good, linked up, done. Lovely. Now, here's the thing. We need to get this iron ore and that coal down and then we can put a train on it and then we can go. We're already at 40 minutes. Crikey's ham. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Building wise, we are going to go, uh, pretty simple, Simon, said the pieman. I'm not going to worry about too much of like I did before with, um, ins and outs and one ways. We're just going to leave it at that. You can also hit play again, Ham. That'd be lovely. Hopefully we've got, uh, something going on down here, I guess. I hope, anyway. Well, I haven't really been playing it that long, so we'll just leave it play from now on. Okay, building truck stop. This is quite a tricky truck stop down here. Look at this horrible road you've got going on. Uh, I'm going to utilize your road. Your little service road you've got yourself. Right? And you're going to do a weird little out section there, but that's, that's your own fault. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we're delivering straight down the hill. Right. We are losing buck loads of money. That will be because of all the, um, I'm not even going to worry about one ways today. I'll do one ways another time. Just time constraints right now. You're what? You're iron. So I, I think you were iron. So you're literally going to be Dayton. Dayton. I'm just going to call it Dayton. Um, iron. T R N F fire truck. Okay. I'm going to keep it as simple as that. Also, right? Uh, that's that one. Yep. And then uh, a little bit further, they have to travel is uh, this one here. And you will be that color with the coal. It'd be nice if we kind of had a road that went over the top of this way, but it doesn't matter. Maybe we can put a, another bypass road up that way. But for the moment, that's how it's going to sit. Now, at uh, you can go on one for, oh, actually, you can go on uh, three for me. Hey, look at that. And it chose to go that way itself. So that's really pleasing that the uh, AI has done that. And so I'll do the same thing with the orange one. I'll make the orange one come down and loop into that station and go back out. Why don't you just do it now? You real pest. Okay, I'll do it now because it is actually bugging me. So once again, we're just going to go date. Call. E-R-N-F. Fire truck. Okay. Also, you didn't do the slash correct. You didn't do your slash correct. Oh, you're getting a bit, uh, you're getting a bit feisty there. Yeah, I'm just wary of time, conscious of time, and all the other constraints that go with it. I'm gonna put two there just in case, anyway. Right, give me this, uh, give me that. Um, manage the line. At uh, there, you're going to come here. Right, perfect. That's actually, uh, that's actually quite pleasing. That's actually quite pleasing to the eye. Uh, okay, lovely. 
Let's get some trucks on that. They're not going to do much at the moment till we get the train line on. Maybe put the train line in. Uh, I haven't even sorted out the train line at the other end either. So I'm going to tell you to come around. I'm actually going to tell you to utilize that waypoint. You will need to be on line three for this. Then you're going to swoop through this waypoint. Ah, oh, that's the wrong waypoint. Okay, then into this station. Ah. Uh, ooh. Why are you running? So you should be up that way, around. Then you're down, 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 prices go down, 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 prices go down. You should not be running too way that way. I put this waypoint wrong, by the way. Uh, okay. So this line we've got going on here, why? Here's the thing. What happens if I just take out these waypoints? What do you tell me you're going to do? You're just going to do what I want you to do anyway, aren't you? Okay. I don't even need to tell it what it needs to do. It's just going to do it. Perfectly practical in every way. Right. You are going to be called um, or line one or no, you're going to be called um, Ingle to Ant or number one okay doesn't matter what all because there's going to be two of these it's going to be an all one and all two one for coal one for um iron uh it doesn't matter um all one train um and copy that we'll make just two of these lines control c and uh we'll just call you orange and i guess you'll just become the, uh, the, um, or the, uh, coal one. I mean, the iron one. Yeah, the iron one. Right. I feel like I clicked on new line, but it didn't work. Okay, same again. We're just going to run the same again. Except this time. Oh, hang on. You've chosen to go the opposite direction on the opposite line. Oh, wait. That's kind of, uh, that's kind of fantastic. That's actually fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I couldn't have done I couldn't have done that better, AI. Uh control V. I could not have done that better. I'm actually really chuffed that the AI did that. Uh it uh it goes to show the AI has come a long way sometimes. Okay. That's uh that. Number two done. Right. That is that at that end. Perfect. The last thing you'll need to do is send all of that down to there which is the easiest part because we'll just use one truck line to go from there down into here. And we'll set you on Inglewood West onto number two. Right? No. We'll set you onto Inglewood West number one. Yeah. And you... What's the color of orange and... Oh, like really dark orange. <laughs> this is going to be kind of a mixed ore line. So we're just going to run basically uh, Ingle... Uh, what uh, mixed or oh, until we get both lines set up this is literally to get the um this is literally to get the lines going right let's get that trucks let's work with the trucks first get this line in then we can do a track ride as that sound sounds great so buy vehicles uh, cargo wise well, we are just using utilizing these at all. So we're going to go with like uh, 14 again. 14 seems to be a good number today. I don't know why, but it just does. So we're going Ingle, uh, Ingle mixed or trucks, right? So they're going to do that line right there. Uh, oh, they're going, they're going the long way. Why wouldn't you go out this way? Because you don't have a connection just to there. If I give you a connection just to here. Yes. Yes, yes, much better. Cool. That's, uh, that's a heck of a lot better. Right, so that's that. Let's get the truck sorted out up here. Uh, we can buy our trucks from down here, remember? Buy vehicles. They do have a long way to go. Don't care. We will be going 14 again. 
set them on um what do we what do we call these ones date iron yep date iron and uh once again buy vehicles same again 14 actually these guys can go 18 they've got a longer distance to go and they will be set on date coal right now we are going to ride one of two of these trains either the coal or the iron or the train itself we need something decent hauling wise so i want diesel give me the weasel i'm thinking the uh, they've got 410 kilonewtons of tractive effort they are only going one way at the moment we could go the GE. Oh, the GE looks pretty good, doesn't it? GE it is. Right. Um, and then cargo-wise, literally, bucket loads of gondolas. I want you to have 300 capacity to start with. Right, I want two of these trains. We can paint them up later. You, sir, are going to be on... And then you, sir, will be on angle or two. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, holy snapping duckfish. We haven't used a GE for a while, and they're probably one of my favorite trains to use. I've been Ben Ham. Thanks for joining me today. Roll credits. Say thanks. Thanks. Say please. Please for why? Uh, because it's nice. Enjoy this track ride along today. Let me know what you think down below. We've got a lot of work to do down here, though. This is... It's only the beginning. I could not get a song in, could you, Ham? Could not. Couldn't not. Enjoy this track ride along today, gang. Let me know what you think about the builds in the comments section down below. Lot to crack on with, though. We haven't even started with air, air transport of products yet, so... Stay tuned for plenty more to come your way. Billy's Bluff will be the next Transport Fever 2 episode to come out. But we've just hooked up Boonhead for the first time on that map. So enjoy that one when we come out. But uh, stay safe wherever you are. Stay glued to your screen. And please consider leaving a like and commenting. And if you haven't already, um, hit that subscribe button and you can come and hang out. We've got the Discord channel and we've got, we go live and we have a lot of fun. And uh, we'd love to see you there to say hi. And uh, yeah. All right. So that's it. Thanks all. Get out of here. Houston, we have a problem. We are going to need to move this train track.
bit of different bridge there we need to fix too.